Oh my god, I was about to film. Can you hear what's happening outside? Okay, round two. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new reading vlog. My name is Brit and I make videos about books and reading and illustrating and I thought I would tell you what I'm currently reading because it's Friday morning right now. I am almost ready to go to The Hague because I sometimes work in a concept store where I sell my products. So I'm working there today and when I'm going there I will be going on the train and I'll be reading Stoner by John Williams because I'm just, I've still been, I've been reading this one for like over a week now and even though it's quite short and I'm enjoying it so much I just still haven't finished it so I'm going to be reading a bit more. This is about a man named William Stoner who is a professor at university. It's actually a very simple story about his life. Not much is happening but it's quite character driven. He has married the wrong woman, their marriage isn't amazing, he's struggling with things at school and he doesn't really have a very interesting or special life. But the thing is, that's what's so good about this book because it feels very raw and that's why I'm enjoying it so much. So I will keep you updated on this one. And this morning, I also started a new audiobook because I always like to listen to an audiobook when I'm just cleaning around the house, doing a little bit of work. And the audiobook that I've decided to listen to is Elizabeth Ajovedo's Family Law. The cover is amazing. It says, this is her first novel for adults. The story of one Dominican American family told through the voices of its women as they await a gathering that will forever change their lives. And this is actually about one of the women who can predict when someone is going to die. And that's everything I'm, I will tell you about it. It's magical realism. And I literally only read like 2%. So I can't really tell you too much about this yet, but this will be my audiobook for this week. I'm also going to be bringing my little crochet project because I am loving crocheting at the moment. I'm making these little, like these skinny scarves and I already made a green one and then this one, but now I'm also making a white one. So I'll be bringing this one with me in case it's a bit quiet in the soil at times and then I can just do a little bit of crocheting. I'm very much into crocheting. It's so cool that you can just make something from scratch and actually wear it, which is amazing. So I'm just going to grab my stuff, grab some products that I'm going to restock in the store and let's go to The Hague. The weather is perfect. It's the perfect winter weather. It's sunny, but quite chilly. So yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. I'm very excited for this weekend and I will see you when I get back from working in the store. Happy Saturday, or well, happy, not really. I just went to see All of Us Strangers with Andrew Scott and Paul Mescal. I have never cried this much in the cinema before, ever. I am not okay. It was horrible. It was so beautiful. It was a piece of art. And I can't believe that it hasn't been nominated for any Oscars, but that film, was bloody amazing. I'm glad I saw it like in the middle of the day so I could just go home and kind of, you know, calm down again. But um, another sad thing is that I also finished the book Stoner, which was also very tragic and very sad and just emotional. I loved it, but I'm gonna give it 4.75 out of 5 stars. That was something that I was missing. I don't really know what, but it was just missing this little thing that didn't make it five stars for me, but it was brilliant and I highly recommend it. And now I'm actually reading or continue reading Arcadia on my Kindle. And I am 18% of the way through this book right now. Tonight I've got a party and the, it's like a house party and the theme is gold. Well, I don't really have any gold clothes. I do have this kind of gold vest that I can put over it with like, 
gold embroidery on it so i'm gonna do that but before that i'm going out for dinner so i'm not gonna wear all my gold jewelry and all the gold things that i planned on doing um for now it's just the cute gold earrings and a little necklace but i'll be bringing the vest with me and like a, a belt and all the rings so it will be nice and gold for the party but right now i'm just going to relax a little bit more before going there i do feel like i'm constantly thinking of all about all of our strangers let me know in the comments if you've seen this film. Oh, I also put on some gold eyeshadow. I, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to think, it's just... It was definitely something. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and go over back into the city center to have a drink and then have some food and then go to the party. I will probably see you tomorrow with hopefully some reading updates as well because I am bringing my book with me. <laughs> um, so maybe tomorrow morning I'll be able to read a bit already. Friday. I haven't really vlogged that much this week but I'm back now. I want to give you some reading updates and this morning I also packed some orders, I cut some stickers, I was just kind of working on my website and my webshop so thank you so much for your support and for your orders but I just wanted to give you some reading updates because I have some very positive reading updates and a bit of a negative one. Let's start out with the bad news is that oh wait this is the wrong book. <laughs> Let me grab the right book. I finished the audiobook of Family Law by Elizabeth Acevedo and unfortunately I didn't really enjoy it that much. I just felt like it was a bit all over the place. I felt like I couldn't really connect to the characters at well because it was written in a format with like different POVs that I just it was a bit confusing at times and even though I definitely did enjoy part of the plot and some things were quite interesting to read about, very unique as well, like their entire family dynamic, but my enjoyment of it was not very high, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna give it like mm, two and a half, three stars-ish. It was okay, but yeah, I listened to the audiobook so it was quite a bit easier to read because if I would have read this physically, I don't think I would have picked it up very often. But a book, a physical book that I started that I am picking up so often is Dolly Alderton's Good Material. I am loving this so much. So. Dolly Elton is just one of my favorite writers. She's very fun. She feels very real and raw. And one of her like non-fiction books, Everything I Know About Love, is just perfect. It's so funny and interesting and relatable. And this is a very fun fiction book about Andy. Andy loves Jen and Jen loves Andy. And he can't work out why she stopped. Now he is without a home, waiting for his stand-up career to take off and wondering why everyone else around him seems to have grown up while he wasn't looking. This is all about heartbreak and lots of things about that basically. But the thing is, it is so freaking funny. I love Dolly Alderson's writing. You fly through this book. I am already like halfway through this book and I started it. Um, a few days ago, I really like the literally when I'm waking up, I start reading this book instead of going on my phone. So that is a really, really good sign. Loving this very much. I'm laughing out loud. And yeah, I just love Dolly Alderton a lot. So this is the physical book that I'm currently reading. But I also want to show you something very exciting. This part of the video is not sponsored, but I was gifted these beautiful pairs of shoes by the brand called Seven or Nine. And I want to show them to you because I'm absolutely obsessed. Because these pairs. Oh my goodness, look at the colors, are amazing. The quality is so lovely. They fit perfectly and they just walk, like they're so comfortable because the food bed is like so soft and squishy and it just feels amazing. First of all, these brown loafers. They are giving Dark Academia vibes. I am so excited to be creating outfit with these and they're so beautiful and shiny and like chocolatey and oh, I'm obsessed. So first I picked out this really beautiful brown leather loafers that literally fit with everything and secondly these super fun mary janes it's been so long since i had mary janes and these are so cute these are also brown leather and also what i love about this is look at the bottom oh my goodness they're like greek goddesses <laughs> Amazing. So these are the second pair that I have just been creating outfits with like crazy. You can wear them with tights, with bare feet, with socks and just loving creating, as I said, 
outfits with these shoes. Thank you so much 709 for sending me these pairs. I'm absolutely obsessed. I will definitely leave a link in the description. So if you want to get yourself a really, really beautiful high quality pair of shoes, you can find so many of them on the website. They've got heels, they've got loafers, they've got flats, everything. And the quality just feels absolutely amazing. So I'm super grateful. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to wear these when it gets a little bit warmer with all my new outfit inspiration. Okay, it's Friday. It is only 10 to 11 in the morning, but I've already done so much because I woke up at like 6.30. Then I read until seven. Then from seven until 7.30, I listened to my friend's long voice memo. That's basically like a podcast, which helped me to do some stretching, to do some yoga, to kind of wake up. Then I just had a shower, had breakfast and started work at like 8.30. So what a productive morning this has been already. I'm really trying to wake up a bit earlier again and just start reading first thing in the morning because I now put my phone right here on my desk instead of in my bedroom and it is helping me sleep well, it is helping me wake up, it is helping me not go on my phone and then go back into bed because it's right here. So that is a really big tip for y'all. Put your phone out of your bedroom when you are sleeping. I'm just gonna do a bit more work and then later this day I'm going over to my parents' house to just have a lovely family evening with them and yeah. I will keep you updated on my reading because I'm so excited about this one. I'm loving it so much. I've been trying out some more crocheting, these really cute granny squares. I still need to weave in all these ends, but I thought I would try this for the first time, like the blocking. So I hope it works. I also made this a cute leaf. Excuse me, but this is so adorable. So I'm very excited to be crocheting again. And let's see what I can make with these cute granny squares. Good morning. I'm just hopping on here to end this vlog. I do have a fun few updates because first of all, as you saw, I was working on some crocheting and I made this. It's a book bag and I think it's so freaking cute. So I still need to put a button here so this little leaf can be like the button, you know, but I need to add something here to make sure that it actually closes. But it fits like a gigantic book. For example, Dolly Alderton's Good Material. That even fits in here. Well, nearly. <laughs> but this is like an abnormally big book, so. Um, yeah, this has been my crochet project for the past week, which is super fun. Highly recommend you pick up a new hobby and just start crocheting because if you follow YouTube videos, it's definitely not too difficult. And this one is really fun. So this has been my fun update. The bad update is that I haven't really finished any books in the past few days or like this week. So I don't really have any final reading updates. However, I have started a new audiobook, namely Orlando by Virginia Woolf. I've been wanting to read some more classics and I thought, let's see if the audiobook services have got classics and they have got many. So I've decided to listen to Orlando, which is the longest and most charming love letter in literature. Playfully constructs the figure of Orlando as the fictional embodiment of Wolf's close friend and lover. So for the past few days, I've just been listening to this one for a bit. I'm enjoying it a lot actually. And it sounds like I wasn't really expecting it, but that is because I am still not the biggest classic reader, like the classics reader, and yeah, they're still not my favorite type of books, but I just want to read some more and see how I like them. If you want to listen to audiobooks as well, or maybe listen to this one, I've actually got quite a few links in my description for audiobook services. These are affiliate links, this is not sponsored, but for every sign up you get a free month and I get either a small percentage or a free month for the servers you know that you're using so it will really help me a lot if you want to try out some of the audiobook or ebook services that um, are in the description so thank you very much for your support but yeah this one is definitely on all of them because it's a classic so they always have like there's like no copyright or something anymore but yeah so this is the audiobook that I'm listening to I have read quite a bit more from good material. I've nearly finished it, loving it still, but that is the only 
reading update I have got left. So yeah, haven't really read that much this week. But that's fine. I've been crocheting a lot, which is also super fun. I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you liked it. And if you want to comment something, but you don't want to comment, comment a daisy emoji because I've been crocheting lots of these daisies. I believe it's like a yellow emoji, but still lots of daisies and cute flowers or like any flower emoji, basically. Okay, thank you again so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up and I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video.